Yeah, yeah, I got something a little different for you guys this time around. I'm usually in a 5v5 prime scene because that's where I live at, but I'm taking a different approach. I'm in the wreck, and I want to tell you guys a story of how I met and played with up-and-coming, rising, promising rookie Nashawn Highland. And for the casuals who don't really watch and pay attention to basketball, this guy's a rookie. When I tell you this dude is game, he is a bucket. I'm gonna show you some of his highlights right here, right now. Stay tuned for this. His team high percentage looks, and the execution was beautiful. Deep three, wow. Screw says nine points. Highland. Oh, 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 oh. Mike's on the run. Bones, try it again. I'm going to go on a little rant here as to why I think he's a super special player and he's going to be a problem in the league in the foreseeable future. So if you pay attention to those videos, pay attention to the moments he's hitting those shots and those are close games. This guy is a rookie. I know Jamal Murray wasn't in this stuff like that, but bro, he is working with what he got. Whatever time he's getting, he's making the most out of it he's hitting big shots so guess what when he comes into his own he becomes his own player and you know maybe gets an own team or you know he just gets his, his green light he is going to be a problem because he has the clutch gene already you build that early and he's just gonna bro he's already stepping up bro he's he's amazing enough about that let me just talk about how i met him it's actually a pretty cool story and it just tells you to just chase your dreams man you never know who you can meet chasing your dreams you never know what doors it'll open but let me get into the story I work a labor job during the day. I work 50 to 55 plus hours. And in between every labor job, we get some downtime. And downtime is when you get to, you know, go on lunch and stuff like that, chill and lunch. You know what I mean? So I'm talking to my little brother, Josh, and I'm telling him, man, I seen a uh, busy bones Highland, like Nashawn Highland. I grew up watching him play basketball because I play Philadelphia basketball. You know what I mean? But when you growing up in the neighborhood or the hood or whatever, you watched, you know, the best basketball players. And he was one of the best basketball players growing up. I think my first year in college, when I graduated high school, I was really paying attention to him and watching him. But man, I was talking to my little brother, Josh, and I was telling him, bro, like, I want to play the game with him because I see him post. I seen him post a, a, a like a TikTok of him playing 2K. I was like, man, this would be pretty cool for me to play with an NBA player. He plays the game. You know, I, I make content. It'd be pretty cool. And I'm going off the dome right here, bro. I'm not really like going to cut out, edit. I'm going to just let you, you know, hear me talk. It's pretty cool. You can watch and I'll, you know, I'll commentate a little through the game. But I just want to talk and rant because I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And I just want to show you, man, how, how my life has been changing. It's pretty dope, man. Nonetheless, let me get into the story. So... I seen the post and when I seen the post, I commented on it. I said, yo, let's get some runs in. And if you play 2K, you know, let's get some runs in. I mean, man, let's play together because who wouldn't want to play with an NBA player, man? That's, an, that's a great experience. You get to ask questions. You get to talk to them about it. I couldn't put any audio in here, man, because we were talking about some pretty cool stuff. And, you know, I don't want to get into none of that, man. He, bro, he's a regular person like everybody else. And that's the beautiful thing about him. You know what I mean? He was talking about how how great people were and you know what i mean we're just having a great conversation and i you know i i keep that private because you know you just can't he, the kind of platform he has you have to keep that you have to keep that private you just can't talk about that stuff and i know as much as i'd be good content i don't really care privacy first that's what type of guy i am i don't care about views or anything i just want to show you guys a good experience so when i comment on it he doesn't like he doesn't like like the comment he doesn't comment back or anything but it's crazy because a week later, I go on live and I have this crazy competitive game where I have about 45 points. Whole time he was in my live stream and he comments at the end of the game, he comments and he says, yo, bro, I've been looking for your TikTok for like two or three weeks. So I say, yo, what do you mean? Like, whoa, this is crazy. Because if you think about it, I just told my little brother about this or my nephew, you know, I call him my little brother, but I just told him about this a week ago. And I said, yo, I want to, I'm going to play the game with him. You know what I mean? I'm going to, I'm going to get him to play the game with me because I see he play the game and I make content. People love my content. But bro, he, when he commented, I said, yo, life really comes full circle. Just keep going. Like, like this is crazy. So we, we don't end up playing the game that night and that's okay. But another week after that, I have another great game where, oh, my guy go off for about 50 points, hit the, like the game winning shot in my live, my TikTok live. And he was happening to be in there. He said, bro, like, 
bro, we got to, you, you know, you're super tough and stuff like that. You know, I love your content, whatever, you know, just showing me all types of love, giving me my flowers. And when you get your flowers from somebody, you know, solidified bucket and, you know, bro, that's it's just an amazing feeling. I'm just a kid from the hood, just like he is. I, I'm pretty sure he got some people he look up to or he think is awesome. And if they told him that, he'll feel good too. So, man, it was just an awesome feeling, awesome experience all around. And in the live in front of 100 people, it was pretty cool because they knew who he was. Man, it was lit. It was just lit. So we exchanged PSNs and stuff like that. Got rid of that. Got rid of that whole thing. And one of these random days, I just hit him up. It was like three, four in the morning. I was done streaming. I was chilling. And I just hit him up and I just said, yo, you want to get some resin? And he hit me up. Luckily, he was up at like three, four a.m. I was like, man, I don't know how he's still up. But he 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 just accepted it. And he said, let's do it. So I grabbed me, Ralph, George, Brandon and him and we just went to the wreck and we just ran it up when I tell you man We killed these guys in the wreck man. Listen <clears throat> when I get in the wreck It's like the drew league with lebron james going in. I'm sorry I don't mean to sound like i'm good, but look at this dot right the right the busy. Ooh, that's that's draws That's a tracy baby. That's easy for him. One thing about this guy. He's actually a really good player You know what I mean? Like he's not he's not like a bad player. I could tell because he plays basketball Look, he just couldn't miss. I think he had like 22 points at halftime, bro He's actually like, he knows what he's doing. He doesn't sit there and play the game all day. Like people are going to be like, yeah, he's not that good. You're weird. Look at this. He's knocking everything down. People will say, uh, yeah, NBA players or people who don't play the game. stuff. So, but he doesn't sit there and play the game all day. He just know what he's doing. So imagine if he did sit there and play the game all day and not, you know, have his profession and his craft. But the best thing about all this is how, you know, me and him are not far in age. You know what I mean? We both grew up and went to college and high school around the same time. But when I was watching him, man, he was the best high school player, one of them. And he was one of the best college players. And I, and I was the dopest thing, man, because you see somebody come from the trenches of Wilmington, Delaware. And yes, Wilmington is, you know what I mean? It's the trenches, man. It's not good. It's not no better than Philadelphia. Philadelphia and Wilmington, they aren't the same. But guess what? They are pretty similar. Here's one saying I live by. Just always take this wherever you go before you judge people. No matter what, everybody's face hurts the same. No matter what. And if you listen to that saying and you get deeper into it, it just shows you that everybody goes through adversity. No matter where you come from. I don't care where you come from. You could be from Idaho. And I don't, I'm no disrespect to people from Idaho, but... I don't know. I, I, nobody talks about Idaho. But guess what? The people from Idaho probably go through some adversity that we couldn't face from Philadelphia, man. So it's just crazy. Not, you know, it's just it's awesome, bro. It's awesome. Somebody from the hood, somebody from the hood, just like me, is trying to make a difference. And he's making a difference, man. He's doing his thing. He made it to the, uh, the NBA, the league. And I'm just trying to find my way on this content creating thing. Not just play 2K, bro. I'm just trying to turn into an all around great content creator. Just, I just want to, man, I just want to help my family just experience freedom, man. That's all. I want to become the best content creator. Of, uh, just, everybody, everybody could say that, but I really want to be, I, I'm hung, I'm hungry for it, man. I, I, I work so many hours a week and I grind, I grind, I grind 50 to 60 hours every week. And, and just so you guys know, I know you're watching this video, but, as of right now, this is my 148th day streaming in a row and people don't know how hard that is I don't stay home and play the game all day, man I probably play the game two to three hours a day and for somebody who makes content. That's not a long time There's content creators who play the game 10 hours a day I don't and it's not because you know what I mean I can or that was a tough shot by Brandon It's not because oh, dude's that but I have to work. You know, what I mean like I, my cards ain't dealt as other people like you know, I gotta grind as hard as I can I have to pay bills and stuff like that and that's and that's a lot of other content creators But I'm just telling you, you know my story and my background and just how how much I appreciate all the things I'm going through. Like I'm meeting NBA players, I'm meeting NFL players, I'm becoming good friends with them. Me and Busy ain't super close and stuff like that, but we got each other on PSN, and that's pretty dope, man. That's that's pretty awesome. I follow some uh, NFL players, and NBA players, off of this stuff like that, and they follow me back on Instagram, and that's dope. My Instagram is General215. Let's blow it up. I love you guys, man. It's, it's, it's just lit. It's just a blessing, bro. Just chase your dreams. Just don't stop chasing your dreams, man. Just keep 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 pushing non-stop man look at this dude you could pass him anything he's just gonna hit it full white or not you know full whites if they give you that animation that's supposed to be a green to me to me i swipe this from him right here we on a fast break this is just too easy bro look at this hezzy uh i should have shot that i should have just kept going with it but i thought the ralph and ralph was man ralph was on point this game bro these guys were i hate to talk about people but bro these guys were so bad and this is why i don't play wreck not because i'm any better than these people but this right here will get you off the game. If you get on the game at 8 o'clock p.m., if you get on the game at 8 o'clock p.m., 
you will be off the game by 825 playing a game like this bro because it will put you right to sleep nothing wrong with 2k but man the matchmaking got to be a little better if they know uh squad's getting in there they can't put you in there with randoms man the randoms is crazy look at this he hits the curry slide right off you know we know what he's doing he hit the curry slide and knock his head off man he's 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 actually he's actually really good at the game like i play with some other uh, nfl players and stuff like that nba players and bro like he's one of he's one of the best i've played with bro it's, it's just lit it's just lit how you can do this and Hopefully 2K23 comes around. Me and him can run it up again, or we can run it up, you know what I mean, whenever he's in the offseason, man. It's lit. If he sees this video, I hope he does. Nothing but good things about him, man. He's an amazing person. He's a beautiful person, man. He's just like, you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is, man. I, I love everyone. I'm just blessed, bro. I'm just blessed. He was trying to get busy right here, bad off the wreck. Man, he snapped this game extremely, extremely bad. He had 22 points. Uh, listen, uh, he went crazy. I, I ain't had that many points. And uh, we just kept feeding him because he had the hot hand. That's what you got to do, man. And I'm going to just get into commentating the rest of this game because I did talk you guys head off. But, I, you know what I mean? I just want to get you guys, you know what I mean, to just get to know me. That's all. So these guys right here were so bad, man. I just kept dotting Brandon, uh, dotting Busy, dotting Ralph, and, you know, dotting George. It was just easy. These guys had no type of structure, bro. No type of structure at all. You know, people just come in the wreck and they just want to chill. They just want to chill. And I understand that right here. But look, we out here trying to get clips. I'm throwing dimes. Hey, come on now, George. That's too easy for George, especially in the wreck though especially in a wreck come on now we take him right here off the top of the key has he crossed dot brandon why would you leave the best shooter in the game open that's just ridiculous man busy calls for the ball right here one thing about him he wasn't shy to call for the boy said man let me get that man in his little boy his voice funny as hell he said let me get that he gonna rush his way to the room this is the worst bucket i've ever seen look he bumped his way all the way to the rim and got a deuce hand dunk as a guard it's still just right here give me that like asante samuels of 2007 yo yo easy lay come on now hung hung easy right hand lays potatoes man look at this right here they kept grabbing offensive rebounds because you know how the game is george is playing some defense where he got to come out and, you know guard the perimeter but man it's this is this is i, I had so much fun bro y'all don't even understand the most unfortunate thing about this is I know he went to play a little longer but the internet he the internet connection in NBA players hotels and stuff like that ain't always so good so man they go through a lot of lagging and a lot of lag spikes and that's what happened essentially in this game he had a great game but he had to lag bro he lagged out right in this time right here he stopped dribbling he lagged out man but i just want to end this video i want to tell you guys thank you i love you for being here thank you for everything man thank you for everything i just want to thank god i want to thank you guys i want to thank god for just giving me the, the determination to work hard please follow my instagram my youtube my twitch my tiktok the general 215 and i'll catch you guys in the next one i love you peace